Hey guys, Ratio here, picking up where I left off, beginning of month three. Uh, things are looking better. Things are looking better now that we have some money to, to spend. We're going to want to spend some of that at the beginning of the month. Uh, but I figure it's about time for just a recap of what we've done so far. Uh, when we started off, month one went pretty well. We, we had some pretty easy missions. We picked some of the easy missions, went for scientists and engineers. Um, we had a team of all women. <laughs> They were, there were lots of American women in our team, lots of Americans and women in general. Uh, we didn't get all of the meld, but we didn't lose anyone in month one, and that's what I really care about. And then month two started. Month two started and everything went to hell. We, uh, we lost Vincent, I think, on the first mission of month two. It was that medium UFO mission. Uh, we built the genetics lab for no real reason, and we haven't used it yet. Uh, and then we had the, the council mission. The council mission was just completely unexpected, and it, for me it was just a, a whole new level of, of failure. Uh, we, we lost Janet, one of our best assaults. We lost the VIP. And so now I'm really not sure where the game's going to go with that, because I, I don't know how that's going to affect the storyline or uh, the, 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 the humans that you fight later on. I don't know where that's going, but we'll find out. And uh, then that wasn't enough after that. Uh, right after the council mission, we had a terror mission, which actually went really well. And then we had an abduction mission, which we did not go well, because it, it, it looked like it was going well, but then we lost a support for no apparent reason. We, we had our assault get wounded, and we just weren't ready for it at all. It, it, it didn't go. It was one of our worst missions, actually. But it wasn't all bad. Uh, the first UFO landing that I was afraid of for, like, several days, I, I put off put off that mission for several days, but I finally did it. It went incredible. We, we took out the, the Seekers right at the start. We took out all the Sectoids one at a time. It was perfect. It wasn't nearly as difficult as I, as I was expecting, whereas the Council mission was a lot more difficult than I was expecting. So, that that's uh, where we are now. We're at the beginning of month three. We uh, put our satellites in the United States, Mexico, Argentina, and Brazil. So Latinos love me now, and... Uh, I, I put a, I was going to maybe put some satellites in Africa or Canada to try to get that advantage, but I decided not to. I decided it would be best to uh, go for the South America advantage. And now, we've actually got some free research opportunities here. We've got these autopsies that we can do Also, instantly. I'm sure you can make the connection so yourself. Those. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Okay, nothing new from the floater autopsy. It's still just defense matrix. I was kind of expecting something uh, mech suit related to come up that because it just they seem like kind of similar technology. Okay, Chris Lutt Autopsy. Based on what we've seen in the field so far, new. including several grotesque examples of trauma resulting from the emergence of its young, we've taken to calling this specimen a chrysalid. Okay, there is something new from that. Two things. Ooh, look at that. Needle grenade and bioelectric skin. Got the usual chitin plating. Hmm. That's interesting. Relative to the blast area, so I guess if you, you if you can get it past their cover, it still nails them. That's really cool. And then bioelectric skin. Okay. Okay. We're immune to strangulation. Huh. Well, that seems almost like too good. It's like a, you know, it's like, what do you call it? A battle scanner that's on your skin. Weird. I'm going to feel pressure to get that. Okay, and then I, uh, I should probably just keep researching carapace armor. Okay, now, this money situation looks good, because we have money. We haven't had money pretty much the entire game. But here's the thing. We've got a lot of stuff we need to build. Stuff we haven't built yet. We need an officer training school, so I'm just going to build that right off the bat. That's $125, so... 
There goes some of the money. We now have $300. Now I'm going to need a satellite uplink, right? So, I need to build it here. So I'm going to need an access lift. And that's two power. That's the rest of our power. So I'm going to build that. Now we got $250. So since I'm going to need power to get a satellite uplink, I'm going to need to build a power generator. I, I would love to build on the steam vent, but I mean, that's going to cost $200. I don't have the money for that, cer certainly not. So I'm going to build a power generator, and that's $60. Leaving me with about $190. And then I'm going to need to build a satellite uplink. Now, I can't see it right now because I just built a power generator, but uh, those cost, I believe... $100, leaving me with $93. And then the satellites cost $64 each, meaning that's what? $190, $192 for three of them. And I'm going to be left with 93 meaning that I'm going to be $100 short of just being able to get satellites up at the end of the month. And that's without alien containment, that's without the cybernetics lab, steam vent. There's lots of other things I, w I would build if I had the money for it, but I simply don't have the money for it. Not enough power, not enough money, not enough engineers. Oh, that's the other thing. I, I forgot to mention that. There's not enough engineers. Uh, I have 17 engineers. I don't even have the engineers to build a satellite uplink right now. I actually need to not only get $100 more, I also have to get three more engineers, and it's not like I have the money to, sp to spend on a workshop for them. So yeah, not enough anything. There's never enough anything in this game. And that is not even mentioning this whole situation. I've lost three men. I need to hire new soldiers. I don't have a team to send on the next mission. I mean, I guess I do actually. I could send these three and Ji Chen. That would work. But it's not a good group. And I've got a, a good long wait until this officer training school is up. And even then, like I said, I don't have the money to be throwing around on promotions. I'm going to buy them anyway, because you don't do without officer training school promotions. You don't mess around like that. But it's like I really do not have any money. So I'm going to hire some soldiers, because my gut tells me I should. In fact, I'm going to hire three right off the bat. I'm going to hope that all three of them are fantastic, because they need to be. And then, uh, I hope this isn't too boring an episode, but I think uh, we're going we're gonna, to, since this is mostly just a recap anyway, we're going to spend some time on our soldiers and just making them look a little unique, uh, taking advantage of some of the customization options. Ooh, you can change what language they speak. I don't think I'll mess around with that. Yes, Commander. She is American. Covered. And I don't think I'll mess around with their voices either, because I've kind of gotten used to them. As long as all their voices are different, I won't mess around with those. Okay, I'm, I'm really just going to play uh, dress up with the people who have been on missions and who I'm actually going to use. So, I'm going to start with Brittany. And I don't think I'm going to mess with anyone's hair or their voices or anything, or their names or anything like that. I'm just going to mess with their armor colors because I like them to all look unique. Uh, Brittany? What would be good for Brittany? Gosh, I'm not really sure I like how the gun changes color like that. That's really, you know, that one looks okay. That looks normal just because the front of her armor blends in with the back of it. I'm going to keep her with that, because, you know, Brittany seems like she doesn't mess around. I'm not going to give her some girly pink color or something like that. I'm going to stick her with that. Okay, and Rika. The all-important Rika. Uh, well, I don't know. Something colorful for her. She, Holland, you know, they got, they got like, a very colorful country. Oh, I know, she should be, okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's the Netherlands, you know, so, uh, let's make her orange. As bright orange as we can get. That that looks good. I think someone from Holland would be proud of that. Okay. Rika the Stalker Buskirk. Okay, and who's next? Sarah Klein. Sarah. What's German? What what's a German color? I I mean I don't want it to sort of clash with that flag there, but like. What? Like some other green? Ah! That's what I'm talking about. Like, sort of, I've already got one dark green person. She can be, like, Oktoberfest green. In fact, maybe we should, once she gets a call sign, we should just call her Oktoberfest. I think that's, I think that's settled. Okay. 
And next is, is uh, I, I'm going to go with G. I know she hasn't been on a mission, but I am going to use her, definitely. She's one of the best in the squad right now. But what color should she be? Hmm. Well, red, uh, red is good for Chinese, but, you know, that flag, it looks, it looks kind of silly. It looks like she's, like, not wearing matching colors or something. I don't like it. What about white? I don't know, that looks kind of nice. Really accents the flag. I'm gonna keep her with white. And then these two Americans that I've been giving shit the whole game, they get colors too. I mean, this guy's been on four missions. This guy's a vet. Okay, Nick. What am I gonna... I still think I, I have to keep giving him shit. I gotta give these guys pretty crappy colors. What, what, would, he, what would Nick not want to wear? Yellow is pretty crappy. Because, you, you know, it's like... Matches his hair. Matches his hair alright. Let's make him yellow. And then Ben Powell. What's he gonna wear? This 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 old gorilla looking dude. What's he gonna wear? I'm thinking like something sort of vaguely girly, but not that girly, like baby blue. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Well, that's a baby blue. There's lots of baby blues though. I've got my I've got options. Ooh, I like that one. I like that one. That's Ben Powell right there. Any other baby blues that I might want? Well, that looks pretty funny. There's like many, many different options for Baby Blue in this game. I'm going with the brightest one, though. Ben Powell, he deserves the brightest armor. Okay. So, now that all my soldiers are, uh ready to go. I think finally I'm going to scan for activity unless there, there's something that I forgot to do. Hmm. Should I build something? There's nothing to build. I can't even build anything. I've bought my soldiers. Have I assigned my medals? I've assigned all my medals. I think we're ready to go here. What's the next thing that's going to happen? These, so these interceptors are going to be ready in South America. I'm going to have to put a Phoenix cannon on them. So I'm going to scan for activity. You know, actually, there might be something I want to do. If I'm willing to, you know, spend money. I really want, when I add someone to this genetics lab, I want to know how long it takes for them to get the upgrade. Because that's a big factor. As my guinea pig, I think I'm going to pick Rika, Rika Buskirk. Just take a look at, oh man, I, I, didn't, I haven't even looked at either of these. Uh, I, I mean, I've seen, I remember bioelectric skin. The alternative is mimetic skin, which, as long as you're in high cover, you don't get targeted. That's very, very confusing. Does not work if any enemies have line of sight to the soldier's starting position? What? What does that mean? I'm not sure, I don't know, that one seems awfully expensive for, uh, for how good it is. Well, as far as uh, guinea pig tests go, I think depth perception would be the best one to give Rika. She definitely doesn't want pupils. So I'm gonna give her this. Oh, okay, you can give her multiples. I think it's just this one for now, though. Depth perception. 15 bucks. Three days. Okay, man, I wish I, I actually kind of wish I had given these to people, because they only take three days. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep All right. immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. I kind of wish I'd started that at the beginning of the month, because now we might have a mission, and I might have to pull her out of surgery to go on the mission. Can I pull her out of surgery? I'm not sure if I can. No, I can't. The remove button isn't there. She's stuck in surgery. Which means I've just screwed myself over if we have to go on a mission in the next three days. 
Well, let's see what happens. Oh no! Alright guys, well, bad news. I pretty much just screwed myself over completely. Even more than I did with that council mission. This stupid interface puts the abduction mission button right next to the scan for activity button. And honestly, I'm not even sure if that's what did it that time. I, uh, I was scanning for activity, an abduction mission happened, I swear, I pressed escape to stop scanning for activity because it kept going. And it canceled the abduction mission. There's no abduction mission anymore. I've got, I've got panic in Egypt, Nigeria. This side of the map had no panic before. I had no panic whatsoever in Asia before. No panic in Europe. This could have honestly been a lot worse because if there had been an abduction mission in Canada, it would have caused the United States to panic. And honestly, in a way, in a very weird sort of way, this is sort of a blessing because I didn't have a sniper to send on the mission. But still, I mean, it just pisses me off. This all, used to happen all the time in Enemy Unknown. It still happens in Enemy Within. It's just goofy as hell. And it's, it's, it's just weird that they've changed so much to make the game better, but they haven't changed stuff like that from happening. It happens to me all the time. I don't know if you guys have experience with it, but it really screws your game over. And, you know, since I can't save scum, since I've turned on iron mode, which actually doesn't prevent save scumming, by the way, and uh, guarantees that I can't go back and change the stupid bugs that occur in this game. So, just got to keep going. Keep on trucking. I'm going to wait for Rika to get out of surgery, and hopefully we will not have a mission before that happens. That would really take the cake, if, if that were the case. We've got a few days. Now, this time, I'm going to scan for activity and not misclick and screw over my entire playthrough. Because we just missed both an, a money opportunity and an engineer opportunity, probably. Really pissed off about that. But let's keep going. Access lift and power generator about to get built. Access lift operational. Got a soldier back in action. Power, power generator, generator is good. And gene modification. Here we go. Wow. We are on the threshold of a new kind of warfare. Our soldiers were already humanity's best warriors. Now, as we wow. learn from our fallen enemies, we can make their strengths our own. Quite a bit of fanfare for giving someone enhanced depth perception. But I'm glad that Rika's back in action. So, I'm going to want to be considering that now, but, you know, I, I don't even need to tell you how strapped for cash I am now that I missed that abduction mission. That's really going to screw me over. I'm already going to get a B from the council for this month, just because of that. Don't know how this is going to work out, guys. Alright, officer training school, three days away. Let's hope that that happens before the next mission. It did. Okay, well, you know, in some ways this might be a blessing. I mean, maybe we would have lost everybody on that abduction mission. Maybe this is the only thing keeping me going. Lead by example? Wow, that's a new thing. But, I mean, it's not as important as squad size one, but, you know, it's a new, new thing. And I still can't get squad size two. I haven't, that hasn't even really occurred to me because I haven't had the officer training school. Gosh, I just have no money. I almost just want to commit to not putting satellites up this month. Wet work is really more important than lead by example, I think. But I just don't have money for any of this stuff. I gotta build the uplink. Oh, screw it. I, I'm gonna have to purchase this stuff. I'm gonna wait and see when the next mission is, but I'm definitely gonna purchase that stuff. Okay. God, I still can't get over that abduction mission. I'm just so pissed off about it. Moving on, moving on. Carapace armor, two days. And we got this request from Europe. Uh, 
it would cost alloys and money, and it would give us the engineers we need, but then where does the money come from for the satellites? I don't think that request is worth taking. Okay. Got the carapace armor, once again. Don't know if we have the money for it. What do we research next? Huh. It's like none of this stuff I really, uh... think I can afford. I guess precision lasers. No, I don't see how I'm, how I'm going to afford those when they're invented. Okay. Oh, you know what? I got so preoccupied with all this stuff going on. Didn't even occur to me to check my new soldiers. I've got a Chinese... You know, you've got to be kidding me. Look at these. I, I recruited three new soldiers. They're all women. I, I've recruited four over the course of the game. They've all been women. This is three more women. Okay. This one is a backup. Strictly a backup. She's not that good. Maria? Is, well, she's like... Uh, she's pretty much a clone of... Uh, one of these guys. Nick. Or no, Ben. Ben has really good... W no, it's a clone of B Nick. He had really good will, but terrible aim. She's exactly like him. Claudia is, like, bottom of the barrel. So, I was hoping for three good soldiers. I got three shit soldiers. I still really do not have a team to send in. I am really at the point where I'm just committing to not having satellites this month, you guys. I, I just don't have the money for it. I'm going to be hiring soldiers one at a time just to hope that I get somebody. Because I need a better team. That's my only idea. My only idea is to jump ship on satellites. Let's see what the next mission is. It's probably going to be in the next few days before this soldier arrives. Commander, okay. we're detecting a new contact. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. Oh my god. I recommend we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Oh my god. I've been forgetting to do things, you guys. I forgot to do this. I forgot to buy the Phoenix Cannon for this fighter. He's now going against this abductor ship with avalanche missiles. I don't think he even has a chance of taking it down, honestly, but I'm going to buy these just for the hell of it. Should I even bother? I'll buy them. So much for satellites this month. Contact detected. I don't even think I'm going to use assistance for this guy. I'll probably just abort when he fails Engaging to take it down. I'm going to hover over the abort button. Maybe not. Damn it! I decided to use the support. It didn't work out. We lost the UFO. Damn it! Well, buy another, buy another interceptor. No time to cry over downed UFOs. Gosh, I'm forgetting to do stuff. If I if I had equipped him with a Phoenix cannon, he would have he would have torn that thing up. I planned for it. I forgot. Oh my god. Alright, forget UFO number three, forget the abductor ship, we're not taking it down. Hopefully he doesn't come back and take out UFOs over South America. Oh great. Commander, our fighter is down. We've lost contact. <laughs> Well, that's a weird offer that they made me because it's just, I, if I had the money, I could easily just buy four Reaper rounds and trade it for $165. I honestly want to take that, but I would have to sell stuff. Lots of stuff. So, I've got my one soldier arriving tomorrow. Please be good. Let's see. It's, it's, a, it's a dude. It's an Irishman. Ryan Daly. He's amazing, actually. Plus 17 will, plus 5 aim. 
All right, well, I mean, that's a team for now. I guess I have a team. I can say I have a team now. I do not have any money for any of the office training school stuff. They've changed Iron Will. Iron Will used to be available later. Like only once you had a major could you get Iron Will. Okay. Well, we haven't done a mission this much, this month. That's interesting. I'm just gonna keep scanning. Do we need to build anything? We can't build anything, of course we can. Well, now it's getting to the point where we want to sell stuff. Just going to sell one of those. And now, now that it's too late, now that it doesn't matter, I'm going to buy a Phoenix Cannon. That thing came closer than I've ever seen to a, a Raven taking down a Abductor with a Lavalanche missiles, but not quite close enough. Phoenix Cannon would have done it. Okay, moving ahead. Gosh. Commander, our intelligence sources indicate that a previously unknown organization is attempting to undermine XCOM field operations. Okay. We believe this group harbors some misguided sympathies for the invaders and is intent on acquiring alien technology and artifacts critical to your efforts. Early reports indicate this organization calls itself Exalt. We trust you will isolate the source of this new threat and eliminate it. Commander, the Council has provided some additional resources to help us deal with these traitors. We can begin scanning for additional Exalt cell locations and launch covert operations to disrupt their activity via the Situation Room. Oh, man. What the hell does that mean? We don't have $26 in our cash reserves. Oh my god. Well, alright. Even though I haven't done any missions, and I recognize that that's ridiculous, this has been too long of an episode already. I'm going to end it here. Uh, next time, I guess I'm going to go up against Exalt. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Thanks for watching, guys.